dear listeners now uh, we discuss an example of data flow testing in this example we have a code snippet uh, very simple code and as i discussed earlier in previous lecture that for data flow testing first of all we define uh, some path that we will follow to uh, analyze the code for data flow to define the path you you may choose uh, any of the strategies like you can you may choose a statement coverage or branch coverage or decision coverage or you may choose a condition coverage or basis path coverage so uh, for this code we uh, take the strategy of statement coverage where we try to cover all the statements in the code here in this code we have total eight statements and we will choose a path which will cover all these statements and uh, as it is obvious from the code we cannot cover all these statements in a single path because if this statement is set true uh, this block is not covered and if we try to cover this block the above statement number 3 is not covered so uh, we choose we take two path and first of all first of all we set the uh, variable x with value minus 1 and when we set x as minus 1 uh, let's see what path we follow uh we will come at step number 1 so 1 then we will come here at statement number 2 and as you know we have set x as minus 1 so statement number 2 is false so we will not come at statement number 3 but rather we will go to line number 4 and as this statement or this predicate logic is true because minus 1 is less than 0 so we will go to line number 4 and it is again true as x is less than a minus 1 is less than 1 so we will go to line number 6 and here we increment x uh with plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 will become 0 and here we go back to line number 5 Zero is again less than one, so we again come to line number six. So here we again go back to line number five, and now it has become x has become one. So one is not less than one. So at this time, this predicate logic is not true. So we will go its to its else part, and we will land at line number seven. <coughs> so here we are defining that path so from line number 7 we will go to line number 8 so here is the path 1 2 4 5 6 5 6 and in the next run uh, we set x as with value 1 so to actually we do it uh, to set this condition as true and so because in this path we covered all the lines but line number 3 was not covered so in the next run we try to cover the line number 3 so here the path is 1 2 3 and as this is true so this whole block will not be true and we will not cover this whole block and we will land at line number 8 so the path will become 1 2 3 8 <clears throat> so from these two path we will actually uh, Uh, start analyzing this code with in the perspective of data flow testing and uh, let's first define all the associations by following this path so here is a list of all the associations in associations we uh, list down all the definitions with all its uses so the first definition we find in this code is at line number 1 where we are defining the variable x so x is initialized with some content that is actually entered by the user we read x and 
this and we will define all the uh, uh, statements or all, all the lines where this x is being used so this x is being used at line number 2 so this is the first association that x was defined at line number 1 and it was used at line number 2 so this is the variable x because line number 2 is actually uh, at the second point where we have defined a predicate logic so this logic may be either true or false so we will define this association as two way uh, it is one to the true case and it's a false case next the same uh, definition of x is is uh, used at line number three and it is a not a predicate use it is a competition use and competition use is written this way uh, defined at line number one and used at line number three and then this x is used at line number four so here we define the number four true it is again at the zero point so true and false and then it's used at line number five and then again it's used at line number six here we are using this value of x but you also may note that this value is also here x is also defined but if this if is not true we will directly go to line number seven and here again we are using x so this x is also being you uh, may be used from this x or from this x so the definition of 1 is used at line number 6 and at line number 7. So these are all the uses of the definition that we def uh, that we make, made at line number 1. Next we see the associations of the definition that we made at line number 3. Here we are defining the variable A and see where we are using it. The variable A is used only at line number 8. So this is uh, pred a competition use because we are actually printing the value a so here we are writing it definition at 3 use at 8 for the variable a and next the definition of a is at the line number uh, 7 and usage is at the line number 8 so here we are defining it at line number six there is another definition of x because we here we are uh, replacing the initial content of the x with the new contents and this very value of x is used at line number five because here we directly go to line number five and so we define and it's a predicate use so here it is six five true and six five false and this x when we come back to line number six from line number five this x is again used here so it is a competition use so this definition of six is also used at the same line number six so here we are setting that six is used at line number six and when this if condition is becomes false we go to line number seven so this definition of x is also used at line number seven so here we are writing that association so these are all the associations that we uh, listed down by using this code and now next we uh, uh, analyze this code in the perspective of data flow testing with following uh, assumptions and these assumptions are all definition coverage the all definition coverage is actually uh, where we uh, look up look up uh, look at the code with the definitions and find the first usage of that definitions so for every definition we will choose just one usage that usage may be competition use or predicate use so here we have total uh, three definitions one at line number one the second at line number three and the third at line number six and the fourth at line number seven so we have in total four definition and we will choose just one use for every definition so here 
it's a uh, all definition coverage which took for one use form for the definition of one one use for definition at the six and one for three and one for seven so this is all definition coverage and here it is all C use coverage the C use coverage means a competition use coverage where we, we will list down all the C uses for every definition so for the definition at line number one we will pick, pick all the computational uses and which are 13x 16x 17x for definition at 3 we will choose all the C uses and that is 38a and for line number 6 the C uses are 66x and 67x and this will not be included as it is a P use it is not C use and for line number variables the definition at line number 7 the C use is 78a so here we have list down all the C use coverage all C use and some P use coverage means we will list down all the C use um, C uses for every definition and for and if for some definition we do not have any C use we will include P use but in this case for every definition we do have C use so in this case all C use coverage or the all C use and some P use coverage will be the same all P use coverage here for every definition we will list down all the predicate uses so all those associate associations which have T and R F uh, symbols we will include those and it will become and here it is all P use coverage all P uses and some C uses coverage means we will include all the predicate uses for every definition but if for some definition we do not have any P use we will include C use for example in this case for definition at line number 3 we do not have any predicate use and similarly for definition at line number 7 we do not have any predicate use so in addition to all the predicate uses we will include these C uses so here it is uh, we have included these C uses because for definition at line number 3 and for definition at line number 7 we do not have any P uses and last we uh, are all, uh, defining all use coverage and for all use coverage we list down all the associations whether they are either they are uh, predicate uses P uses or they are C uses so here we are listing down all the associations and add and last one is the DU path coverage the DU path coverage is actually same as all use coverage the only difference between DU path coverage and all use coverage is that in DU path coverage if for uh, some uh, uses either it is P use or C use we have two path we will define both the path whereas for all use coverage we will we may choose only one path for instance suppose here the variable x was defined and it was defined uses it was used at line number three here but here we have only one path to uh, move from line number one to line number three but if there is a situation that we have more than one path to reach at line number three we will include all those paths so uh, this is the difference between du path coverage and uh, all users coverage in all users coverage we may take only one path but for all du path coverage we will list on all the possible path from the definition to the corresponding p use or c use so that's it it was a little complex example and in the next lecture we will in the next video uh, i will discuss a rather simple example to further explain the same concept of data flow testing stay blessed